ZK Creation sent out this outdoor rugged military styled waterproof smartwatch that can make and receive Bluetooth calls straight from your wrist and measure your heart rate, blood pressure, SpO2, track your sleep, workout and much more. So let's test all that out in depth starting with the price and unboxing. This K56 Pro smartwatch is listed on ZK Creation's Amazon page for only 74 Canadian dollar. Check out the links in the video description for any ongoing discount and promotion as for limited time there will be a $20 off coupon code. You can also check out their other smartwatches as I have done reviews for many of them from their store linked in the video description. With all that said the content of the box includes a cute little quick start guide which I would highly suggest to check it out as this tab shown right here is very important in order for you to receive and make Bluetooth call straight from your watch. Further down is a pair of screen protector which most of these smartwatches does not offer but it's very useful to have in order to protect the display. A proprietary pogo pin USB type A charger and a user manual. This K56 smartwatch comes with an extra pair of 22mm pushpin type wristband so you get two color options black and green. Comment down below which band would you prefer. This K56 Pro smartwatch is compatible with both Android and iOS smartphone but for this video purpose I have paired it to my iPhone 14 Pro. In order to use this smartwatch you have to download the DaFit app which is available for free both on Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now I have talked in depth about each and every feature of this Daffy app in a video linked at the end of this video, be sure to check it out. But the setup process is super simple. You will see this K56 Pro smartwatch on the Daffy app under add devices, follow the prompts and you will be set in few seconds. Once connected, be sure to go under the Bluetooth setting of your mobile device and make sure to connect audio underscore K56 Pro in order to receive and make Bluetooth audio calls straight from the watch. Since we are on the app, let me briefly show you a few important features around here. Under the dashboard, you'll find all your health data which we will compare it later during the video to an FDA approved medical device. Under the Me tab is where you can input your biometrics, goal and connect this app to your Apple Health app. Finally, under the Watch tab is where you will find the connected watch with its battery level. Now the watch face tray, in order to access more watch faces, just swipe left to scroll through all these watch faces and at the very end, you'll find the face gallery and under it, you'll find a ton of watch faces. Some of them will have close resemblance to Apple's, Huawei and Samsung smartwatch watch faces. So I am certain that you will find your desired watch face to revive the looks of your watch every single day. Under notification, you can turn on and off the apps that you want to be notified for. So in case if you don't get any notification, then you need to check it out right here. Unfortunately, you cannot set an alarm from the watch. So you have to set it up from right over here. You can only toggle the set alarm on and off straight from the watch. You have to click shutter from here in order to take a picture from the watch as when you click on the shutter app from the watch while the Dafit app is not open, nothing will happen. But when the Dafit app is open, pressing the shutter button will auto trigger the camera app to turn on and you can take the pictures. However, you cannot record a video or check the preview. So it's a basic shutter app, but it's better to have something than nothing. Favorite contact is where you can add up to 8 selected contacts that you can directly dial from the watch which is a nifty feature. Under others, you will find option to find your watch which works like a charm provided the watch is in the Bluetooth range. Time format, customized reminder to move, full day heart rate monitoring, customizable do not disturb mode, language, unit format, auto lock, reset. Other helpful feature includes drink water reminder, heart rate alerts, weather and physiological cycle reminder. With the app being done, let's talk about the design and navigation. I really like the design of this smartwatch as it's quite robust and rugged. But as you can see, it is a bit bulky depending on how big of a wrist you have. Here is how it looks on my 6 inch wrist and this is how it will look on a female wrist. Now I want you to comment down below what do you think this watch is suited for male or female. The entire body of this watch feels like it's made out of metal which gives you a premium feel. 
On the front, the display is housed under a nice military style bezel with all these engravings. There are four screws that you will need to unscrew in order to access the internals of this watch. On the left hand side is the speaker grill which is a bit hidden and from my testing it does get muffled sometimes when you bend your wrist like doing a push up. Anyways on the right hand side there are two buttons. The microphone is located in between both these buttons. Now at the back there are the charging contact pins and the heart rate and the SpO2 sensor are housed in a glass encasing which does feel premium unlike most the budget smartwatches. Uh, where the sensors are housed under a plastic covering. The wristbands are silicon type 22mm interchangeable push pin type wristband so you can even use an aftermarket band provided they are 22mm. So overall the watch does give a premium and looks great on the wrist. Now in terms of the specs, the display is 341 pixel per inch HD 1.39 inch display with 360 by 360 pixel resolution. It has a Realtek 8762DK CPU chip. The outdoor sports watch is designed with mudproof bridge guard and brushed crafted metal body. It's also wear resistant, dust proof, drop proof and waterproof and also has passed 15 military grade certification so overall it's quite durable. Now in terms of battery life, this smartwatch has 400 mAh battery cell that can be fully charged with this proprietary pogo pin charging cable under 2 hours. Overall the battery life from my testing is top notch. It can easily go up to about 7 days per charge from my testing and they claim this watch can go up to 10 days and 30 days on standby mode which is very impressive. Now in terms of navigation this watch has two buttons on right. The top right button is to turn on and off the display and the bottom right is to toggle through all the widgets like health stat, phone, health, weather, camera shutter, music player and breathe app. From the main screen you can swipe down to access all these quick settings. Honestly this one screen shows all the needed details plus gives you access to the basic necessary apps which is pretty cool. Swiping up gives you the access to notifications where unfortunately you cannot reply to any of the notifications, neither you can read through a long email notification, it just gives you a few lines of text and you can determine if it's important enough for you to check it on your phone. You can also not see the images or special characters. Finally, swiping right gives you the access to the menu. The menu is pretty cool rotary style menu and more importantly it gives you a very nice haptic vibration when the menu wheels move from one app to another which is pretty cool. Now in terms of app, this watch has apps like weather where you can check out the current weather plus it gives you a weekly forecast. Next is music app is basically a remote controlled music player to your phone and the cool part about this music player is that the music can be played via bluetooth built in speaker and you can skip the track forward backward and even control the volume which is really handy especially at a gym while working out. This watch even has two games Youngbird and 2048. Comment down below which one is your favorite game. My personal favorite is the young bird where you have to tap on the screen to flap the bird up in order to dodge the obstacles. Also comment down below your high score if you have played this game. So this watch even has basic games to kill time straight from the watch. Now under settings you'll find all these options like phone on and off, call reset, games, stopwatch, alarm, timer, menu view. Here is where you can change the view from rotary style or grid style to list style menu. Brightness, vibration, theater mode, reset, power mode, about, app download QR code, calculator which is genuinely better than most of the budget smartwatches and some budget smartwatches don't even have a calculator. Now this AI voice is basically summoning Siri straight from the watch and the answers will be pushed back via Bluetooth speaker. This is not so robust, I have seen better version on other budget smartwatches but hey it's better than nothing. And the other problem is a lot of important stuff is hidden under the setting like this AI voice, calculator and the theater mode. Now this theater mode in my opinion should be accessible from the drop down menu style as at night time there is no night mode so when I move my wrist at night time the display will turn on and it will affect my spouse's sleep. 
and to mitigate that i have to manually go in the daffy tap and turn on the do not disturb mode and turn on the theater mode together which is a hassle guys if you made it this far in the video please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as i do detailed tech reviews like this one and i bet you'll find a lot of interesting videos now let's talk about calls notification fitness and sleep tracking and wrap this video up with my final say to make a call straight from the watch go under the phone app where you can either dial a number through this keypad or access the call history and call directly from there or you can even call your favorite contacts that I have shown you how to edit from the mobile app. Now when you receive a call you get the caller's name if it's saved on your contact list. Once you answer the phone you can either mute, hang up or control the volume from my testing the speaker and the microphone quality is decent. The microphone does not isolate your sound and the more close you keep the microphone to your mouth the clearer the voice will be and the speaker quality is also quite decent. Let me give you a demo of the speaker quality. Now in terms of health and fitness tracking, this watch can measure your heart rate both at your desired interval and continuously. Let me compare this watch measurement to this CheckMe Pro FDA approved vital stat monitor device that can measure all your stats including blood glucose, blood pressure, ECG and much more. I have done a full video of this which is linked up in the card section and at the end of this video be sure to check it out if you are interested in this. So you can see it's quite accurate in terms of static heart rate measurement. Now this watch can also check your SpO2 that is blood oxygen and let's again compare this reading to this CheckMe Pro and you can see it's quite on par which is pretty good for this budget price point. Now on top of all these, this smartwatch can also measure your blood pressure. However, I do not recommend to rely on the readings as I don't trust any reading except a pneumatic sphygmo manometer that are used in hospital settings. But just for comparison sake, let's compare its reading to this pneumatic blood pressure monitor again by CheckMe Pro and here are the readings. Finally, this watch can also offer breathing control session but in order to access that you have to press the bottom right button till you reach the breathing widget. Now this is very good as it does give you a vibratory haptic feedback during exhalation phase so you don't need to look at the watch while breathing. Now this watch also offers physiological cycle tracking as shown earlier during this video. Now I have been trying to monitor my sleep via this watch for past few nights along with my Apple Watch Ultra and so far from my testing it's pretty good at detecting the sleep and the wake up time. In fact for the most part it's right on par with the Apple Watch Ultra. Now this K56 Pro also shows all the stages like deep sleep, awake, REM sleep but from my testing it's not so consistent with the Apple Watch Ultra. But the cool part is it unlike other budget smartwatches this watch can also track your heart rate throughout the night and it's pretty good and pretty close to my Apple Watch Ultra. You can also see your sleep score from the Dafit app which is a good reference point. Now finally in terms of workout tracking this watch offers 107 different type of workouts under exercises. When you scroll all the way at the bottom you'll find option to add more. From this categorized list like popular outdoor activity, tra training, dance, combat sports, ball sports, winter sports, recreational sport and other sports. Now I haven't tested all these modes but I have tested outdoor and indoor run as well as outdoor and indoor walk both against my treadmill and the Apple Watch Ultra and from my testing I would use this watch with a pinch of salt when it comes to workout tracking as this heart rate tracking was a bit off compared to both my Apple Watch Ultra and the treadmill. What was consistently off compared to my Apple Watch Ultra and my treadmill was the distance and the calories burnt, especially the calories burnt were very low compared to the Apple Watch Ultra despite of me adding my accurate biometric detail both in the app and under my profile. So it's good that this watch has all these workout modes but it's not that accurate when it comes to calories burnt and distance. But you also need to keep in mind that I'm comparing this under $70 watch to this $1000 Apple Watch Ultra. 
With all that said, here are my final thoughts. This watch has some really cool features for under 70 bucks like on wrist Bluetooth calling where you can take and make both calls directly from the watch. Decent built-in speaker with music playback and control straight from the watch. AI voice assist which is Siri on the watch. Heart rate, oxygen, blood pressure monitoring, breathing exercise, 107 different type of workout tracking, all the needed app with notification preview and much more as shown earlier during this video for a budget price point. And for the most part, it does a great job on delivering those except the workout tracking as I was comparing it against to this premium Apple Watch Ultra. So in short, if you are just starting out with smartwatches or want to gift a budget smartwatch to your loved ones who are just starting out with a smartwatch, then this is a good rugged and solid outdoor option. But if you already have a above average smartwatch like Fossil, Huawei, Amazfit, Samsung or Apple, do not go with this watch as you are better off sticking with your above average smartwatch. I really hope this video helped a lot and if it did, this video deserves a thumbs up, doesn't it? And if you have any suggestion, please comment down below and subscribe as more videos are coming up soon. Also check out these budget smartwatches as you will find them enticing.